we can go first in the book of Acts, chapter 17, and start read from the verse 26. And had made, talk about God, had made one flood or nation of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and had determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. 27, that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him. Though he is not far from, uh, from every one of us. So, uh, as we read here, and we know that God has created everything, whole universal and everything, but despite of all, all those great things, God wants that we have a, a, a relationship with him and he wants us to come to know him. And that's the quite a remarkable thing I I, I, I I think so and uh, actually where these uh, thoughts of this talk, talk games uh, in my mind uh, is like a bigger picture what I usually explain somebody if somebody asks uh, what is this Jesus thing and what is God God all about and what, why we need Jesus but main point is that uh, God wants that his creation have contact with him and uh, he has given give us uh, the way. He has given us uh, his word that we can find him. And he has given us for us uh, his spirit that we can talk to the people and we can show them what uh, God's word said. But uh, in first place, in the beginning, we can go to the Exodus chapter 3. And uh, verse 9. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, and thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And uh, verse 15. And God said more, more, uh, moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord, God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of uh, Israel together, and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, God of Abraham, of, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. 17. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the afflictions of Egypt unto the land of Canaanites and Hittites and Amorites and Perizzites and Hivites and Jebusites, or different, uh, difficult names, and the land flowing with milk and honey. And uh, God has uh, given those uh, promises, his promise to Abraham, and the Bible said that uh, Abraham was called God's friend, but in the first place, God chose Israelites to be his nation, according to his promise, what he gave to Abraham. And the God is the one who chose them in the same way, like that Jesus chose us. He said that uh, he chose us and we didn't choose him. So that, that was the, that was the uh, as I say, uh, like a starting point, God chose Israelites and give them uh, all of those uh, promises and bring them out of the Egypt uh, from the affliction to a new life in the land where it's flowing milk and honey. And we can go uh, into Joshua, book of Joshua, chapter 24.
and uh, verse 14. And uh, Joshua said, now, now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in uh, sin, how you say it, sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served in the other side of the flood in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil uh, unto you to serve the Lord, Choose you this day whom ye will serve, uh, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in uh, whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So uh, Israelites have, uh, as we know, they have this problem. They was like a yo yo -ing. They go uh, with they walk in the Lord always up and down. Up and down. Uh, one day they say that we will do as the God say. We will serve you. We can follow you. We can do what you want. But tomorrow <laughs> it was other way around all the time. We, can, we want to do things as ourselves things which is better way. And uh, first thing where they went wrong, they want to be like uh, other people around them. They want to have a king. Before that, God was their king, but now they want to be as other people. Right? We want to be like those other nations. They have king. We, we want to. We want that the uh, human king, and as we know, they uh, received their king. But after that, it's coming coming uh, problems. Time to time, always fighting with somebody. And uh, you don't need to go there, but Hebrew uh, chapter 3 verse 10 says, Wherefore I was grieved with that, uh, with that generation and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known in my ways. But now is the question, uh, are we better than those uh, Israelites in the old days? And the answer is, of course, not. We are we are humans as well. We have hu human thoughts, and uh, we can go in the Romans chapter three. And this is the this is a little, little bit. Uh, it it has been then, and it is still now. Like a uh, human character, how uh, what kind of. Uh, Thoughts and what is human character usually. And the Romans chapter 3, and we can start from uh, verse 9. What then are we better than they? No, in no wise. For we have uh, before proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. As is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all, all gone, gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good, no, not one. They throw is open. Uh, okay, in Finnish version, say it's an open grave. Difficult word for, for me, this. Uh, with the tongue, they have used. They say, the poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are uh, swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace they not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. And the question is, if human nature is like that, are we then hopeless? Or we just uh, we born here, we spend our lovely days on the earth, and we die, we go in the grave, and that's it. No, it, it thing, things is not like that, and that's the reason and time, and when Jesus step in in this picture, because we, as they in the old days, we need savior. From our first day of our life, when we born, and uh, 
that's the, the that's the can I say that that's the deal any anyway people are under sin when they born and uh, Jesus came in this is uh, this is my, my translation Jesus speaking on 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 the heaven all right people are so uh, stopping in the head they always do run part of maybe I I want to go down and I want to help them myself uh, for them and uh, we can uh, read about that in Hebrew chapter 10. Jesus stepped in, in, in this uh, big picture and he came and uh, he opened us the way and uh, so Hebrew 10 verse 14 For by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Thereof the Holy Ghost also is witness to us, for after that he, is, uh, he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in, in their minds. Uh, will I write them? And their sins and in trinities I will remember no more. So uh, this is the deal. What God has promised. When uh, God has sent his only begotten son to die for us. And he took our sins and nailed them to the cross. And uh, Jesus gave us a promise of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and he for, uh, promised forgive all our sins, make us uh, righteous, which means that uh, we have uh, our relationship uh, with God. It, it, it's it's uh, right. All, all is forgiven. There is some uh, place in Bible that forgive my uh, secret sins. We do always mix mistakes that we don't think. We maybe think wrong or we maybe say something wrong. But uh, anyway, when we receive the Holy Spirit, uh, we are right with God. And this is a thing that we call salvation. And the question is that how we can get ourselves into that point, point of salvation and the point of, of uh, be saved. And uh, we can go in the last uh, scripture in Act, Book of Acts. Chapter 1. And I read from uh, verse 4. And being awesome together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, uh, which said he, we have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. This is the promise of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said only that you go into Jerusalem and you wait for the promise. And uh, uh, as we know, they didn't know what, what to wait. They just gathered together and they prayed and they, they wait what would happen. And in uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, uh, while they were praying, that there appeared unto them glowing, uh, glowing tongues, like as fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the, this is the first time in a... In a history of mankind when this uh, promise was fulfilled and this uh, as we know God's uh, word is not changeable it hasn't changed God doesn't lie this promise is available still in today we have uh, all people in our our church they are spirit filled they're speaking tongues I remember myself I was prison in Germany quite young fellow uh, I had a drug using background. We lost somebody's money in that uh, smuggling trip. And uh, 
So somebody witnessed to me, and uh, I pray for the Holy Spirit many times, didn't receive it, but then I need to really uh, kneel down, humble myself, I prayed, and one evening I just spoke out in tongues. At that moment, I know I was instantly free. I said free from the cigarettes and drugs and whatever I did. And have this uh, peace and uh, assurance in my heart. And uh, it was it was a wonder, wonderful feeling. when I Usually when I think that, because I'm a man, I try to beat up. But usually I got something in my eyes regarding turning wet. Usually a little bit of voice is breaking because it's so emotional when I remember that. But uh, yeah, continue. Same uh, chapter, Act chapter 2, verses uh, 37 and uh, 39. Yeah, they received that Holy Spirit there. A lot of people was around. They hear that uh, these people, they spoke in tongues and they was wondering what is this. And they asked something and uh, Peter explained them. And uh, they get uh, in this uh, verse uh, 37. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and say unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? So, simple question. What we need? Well, okay. This is this Jesus thing. Okay, we understood that, but what, what we need to do now? And uh, as this gospel is simple, in the same way, answer is very simple, uh, verse 38. Then Peter, uh, Peter said unto them, repent. It means, means like a change your mind, that uh, accept that God, God is boss, and you, need, you want to do uh, everything in God's ways, put yourself down, and be baptized, every one of you. Every one of you, it doesn't uh, help if your father or grandmother or grandfather is baptized. It says every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And uh, that's the big picture in, 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 a, in a short way. God first chose Israelites to be his uh, nation, give his uh, promises. They went up and down, up and down. Then uh, came uh, God opened this salvation for Gentiles and everybody. Jesus stepped in. He sacrificed himself. He gave us the promise of the Holy Ghost. And uh, as we just read, that promise was uh, fulfilled. And you need to, uh, you don't need to go there. But Jesus spoke about these things beforehand as well in Mark 16, said that uh, he had, he that believed. And this baptized shall be saved, but he that believed not shall be damned. And after that, verses uh, 17 to 18, there is signs uh, following of those people who believe. One of them is uh, verse 17, the uh, last part of the verse, a signs following speaking in new tongues. In Jesus said in John 3, verses uh, Jesus explained that uh, we must born again, born from above. We need to born of the water in baptism and of the spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit. And uh, the question is uh, uh, where we are uh, from, saved from what? I was reading here, saved from what? And uh, saved from wrath of God. In uh, 2 Thessalonians, it said uh, very clearly, Clearly, that uh, you don't you, you know, I, I can read it out here in uh, uh, Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse seven. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with His mighty angels in flaming fire, they in vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. And uh, in my mind, I understand this, that would be eternal death. That is uh, say also in the book of Revelation. 
And uh, yeah, I, I've written here, in the end, we will inherit God's kingdom and eternal life. But we need to keep ourselves in the right track or right way. Mm. Remember, it's it's worthy to wait. That what which is written in the book of Revelation, there will be no more sorrow and no more pain. And I want to leave it here. Amen. <laughs>